First, let's add two spheres. Imagine that these are your characters. Now, let's add a plane, this will be the cape for your character. Scale and move the plane so that it touches the two spheres. With the plane still selected, press Ctrl A then select Scale, to apply the scale. Go to Edit Mode, and subdivide the plane a few times. Remember, the higher the subdivisions, the better cloth quality, but with the cost of longer simulation time. Still in edit mode. Select vertices that are near the spheres, and assign them to a new vertex group. Next, select one group of vertices again on the right side of the plane. Then press Ctrl H, and assign it to a new hook. Do the same for the left side of the plane, then press Ctrl H and assign it to a new hook. Exit out of edit mode and parent the empties to each sphere. Now let's add random animations to the two spheres. Next, select the plane and go to the Physics tab, and choose Cloth. Bring back the playhead to frame 1. Then in the Cloth settings. Under the Shape Rollout. Choose the Vertex group we created for the pin group. Now hit Playback and watch the cloth animate. Next, enable Self Collisions. And set the friction to 1. Let's also add collisions to the two spheres. Now, let's add some wind to our cloth simulation. Increase the wind strength. And also reduce the wind flow. Next, change the cloth type to silk. Then set the bending mode to linear. Now it looks much smoother. Finally, let's add a solidify and a subsurf modifier, and adjust them to your liking.
and also set the plane to shaded smooth, and we're done. This concludes this CAPE tutorial. See you in the next video. Cheers!